Okay, so uh, I'm going to start building a red laser for myself, and the first thing I've done is I've extracted the module out of a uh, LightScribe capable ASUS DVD dual layer burner. Uh, this is an open can diode. Let me show you up close and personal what this looks like. So it's not like a regular laser diode where uh, you see the canister in it. Um, you'll see everything inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mount it in a small module right here for uh, housing. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to slide in a little uh, Arctic 5 uh, thermal paste on the back of the diode just to help some cooling a little bit. If I can find where I put my bloody uh, Arctic 5. Alright, so we got Arctic Silver 5. And I'm going to just slide a little bit of it on the bottom of the diode. Uh, gotta be careful also that you don't get any in the diode because it is an open canister type. There you go, a little glob on there and that should help it slide in to the module Okay, having a little bit better of, a, of an image there in my camera, uh, you'll notice that there's a little glob of arctic silver on there. I don't know if you see it or not. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this inside the one end of the laser module. I'm going to take my screw cap and place it on the wires that I pinned and soldered on. And I'm going to drop the module inside and really carefully uh, screw it down without uh, trying to turn the wires up as little as possible since I don't want the uh, heat sink compound to get all over anything. This is a stock heat sink from a Core i7. Um, I've used it before. I drilled a hole through it. And I'm going to take some of the Arctic Silver, and I'm just going to run it along the inside of the rim a little bit. And I'm going to carefully slip the laser diode and the module in through the hole and out the other side. a little far in, but it, uh, it's in. Now, let's set up our driver for this. Okay, after setting up the uh, driver here and mounting our laser, we're going to check the uncollimated output of the laser on a piece of paper. You'll see a very bright red. So let's put on a lens and test out its output with collimation on it. So this is a mounted collimating lens for the laser. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this area into the threads inside and that's going to let me focus it and do a beam. And so after this the last thing I should have to do is just set my lens adjustments and focus it. So let's fire it up and shoot it at the piece of paper. See what happens now that there's a lens affixed. I mean, that's pretty bright, let me tell you. So after uh, collimating the lens uh, to its perfect beam, 
Uh, this is not the right kind of lens to use, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to lose a little bit of power. You'll see rings around there. Uh, but we can finally test out the final output of this laser that we just put together. You can see that there on the comb. Okay, after gluing in our module right here, uh, then we're able to actually affix the original Intel Core i7 fan to the Intel Core i7 stock heatsink. So I'm going to slide this on uh, very carefully. Actually, I'm going to stop it first. Um, And now, we can safely pop the laser and pretty much use it continually. And you can't see anything because the fan's pulling everything away. Oh, that was a fail. <laughs> I'll update this project when I uh, get a better lens, but for right now, that's it.